and welcome to MTD TV, the video program brought to you via MTD CNC website and the MTD YouTube channel. So let's get straight into it. Introduce to you today, Joe and Paul, welcome. Hi, Hi Colin. Colin. Guys, as I said, let's get straight into it. What's been happening with MTD in the last couple of weeks? Joe? October's been a great month, Colin. Um, 30,000 plus visitors to the website, mm -hmm. nearly 20,000 via our YouTube channel, which is an increase on last month and considerable increase on this time last year. We've got three new clients um, to, the, to the site and our services due in October. They've all subscribed to 12 month packages, which is great. Excellent. Yeah. On, on the traffic front, um, we did some uh, research on our analytics and actually saw that the average time of an engineer on our website is over two minutes, which might not sound a lot, but it is a lot in the, in the, in, in the world wide web terms. Moving on then, in terms of the MTD CNC website, what's popular at the moment, or I should say really these days, in social media speak, what's trending? And before I say trending, guys, I'm not saying trendy, because looking around here, we ain't. Well, you aren't anyway, but Thank that's you. another story. What's, what's trending with MTD CNC? Well, Joe mentioned about YouTube, at massive at the moment, very big for us. Um, even more evident is the fact that it actually works, because people often, often question what marketing and what advertising works. Well, YouTube does. Uh, recently, or over the last couple of months, we have three examples of customers that actually sold machine tools as a direct result of a YouTube video, uh, and, and that's powerful. So that, that's, a, that's obviously a, a big part. In terms of products and top technologies, Joe, what's been going on this month? As always this time of year, there's a lot of new releases. A couple of note, Dragon Skin technology from WMT. Yeah. Um, it's not brand new, it's a couple of months old now, but we run the story. That, um, in October. It's a, it's a new coating. There are new geometries and carbide grades as well, but it's, it, it's really on the, on the coating. We've, we've got a nice video on that. Um, the H51 hard inch super precision lathe is another, is another new machine to the UK available from Engineering and Technology Group. That's on the website. We've got a video on it. We filmed it at AMB, so have a look. Paul? XYZ have just launched another XL machine to add to their range. They've, uh, over recent years they've been moving into the oil country lathe market so the machines are a lot bigger. XYZ may have been traditionally loaned for, for smaller machines, smaller lathes, uh, but they've just added this additional XL lathe um, to their range as well which is a new product. Uh, Tornos a Swiss GT26 is a new machine, we saw that at AMB. Um, so there is, there is uh, also Victor have introduced a new AX350, but I also noted by looking at um, the Machinery Market magazine earlier that uh, not only is it the, the 350, they've also got the AX800 as well, which is launched. So um, they've got a spread in, in Machinery Market on that as well. And so the AX800 is a much bigger five axis machine compared to the 350. So a lot of new products and technologies up and coming. You tend to fantastic. find this time of year, as we move towards the end of 2014, people are looking at the new technologies for 2015. So we're at a prime time now, and probably in the next vodcast there'll be even more. Okay, that's excellent. All right. Guys, can I hasten to add, I'm not sort of doodling or doing a Sudoku here, I'm actually making some notes, so <laughs> just to keep up to speed with what, what we're actually going through. Um, you spelling correctly? Uh, absolutely not, so don't worry about that. Now, another key, key thing that you guys do at MTD is go out to the events. I know that, and I know there's one key event coming up, which is the MTD Christmas party. I hasten to add, I haven't had an invite, but I will be going there, so we'll let you know what goes on next month. Uh, all I can say is, treat me gently, and it won't be going on the uh, video so side of things, so you, don't expect that on the YouTube channel. Have you invited him? No, <laughs> you tell him. No, I haven't got an invite, I can uh, assure you guys. I will be there. I'm not dressing up as Father Christmas or anything now either. So, but more, more importantly, guys, events come, coming up for the next month. Big month this month. We're going into a... Uh, we've, we've had a season of open houses and events. October is a, is, a, is a big event month. We had the Matsura and the Tornos event. Star GB had an event. Um, and in fact, we were at all of them and we filmed at all of them. So those videos can be seen on the site too. Up and coming, you've got the XYZ WNT open house. You've got the Mazak open house. And you've also got the Herco open house as well, which is coming up in December. So it, it, is, a, it is a busy time in terms of events and the Christmas do, which you've mentioned. Absolutely. Can't forget the Christmas do. Well, we <laughs> might, might want to forget it, but anyway, that's another story. So what other videos, new videos are there? We've done a review on two Huachon machines and a Dali machine. Uh, and the demo we did on, on a Dali machine was a stainless steel demo. It's a really impressive video that. 
Um, coupled with that, like Joe said, we have done um, videos on events and we'll continue to do those over, okay. the, over the near future. I do know one video that you did who was out with guys at Sherox as well, because they were kind enough to show me around their business. Um, I did encounter the world's most expensive yo-yo, which I manufacture. <laughs> um, Guys, when you're doing a stock take, I do apologise. You might be one short, but moving on, moving on swiftly. <laughs> what about on the video's point, that comment you made, we did forget to mention, Aroga dies. That was a great sure. video. Absolutely. You, you weren't quite sure on what was going on there, Colin. Well, as in terms of the wording, it said, yeah. is it John? <laughs> it, was, from it, it, it was actually it was Alan from oh, Aroga Dies. I apologise, yeah. So Alan from Aroga Dies. I was like, oh, that's, that's, that's a bit sad. <laughs> but that's just the way I read it. So apologies, Alan. I trust all of you. Just well. on that, it's a great video. CNC International. It, it's a really, that's a worth a watch. Good video. The, the, I mean, yeah, the, the, the bones of it, he spent £100,000 plus on two EDM machines without even seeing them on the trust of his supplier which is CNC International. And I mean, that, that is a real endorsement for CNC International. And, and not forgetting, I can't forget to mention, there's a, there's a FANUC video um, that we released in October, which is about a BT30 machine offering similar capabilities to, what, uh, to a BT40, which um, should interest engineers. Yeah, absolutely. In days gone by, you'd never recommend a 30 taper machine for cutting anything other than aluminium and some very soft steels. But on this video, you've got a tall steel and it's running a 90 degree cutter, the full depth of cut, which I think was 12 mil. And it was running about 400 you know, feed. Wow. And it, 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 you know, it was cutting lovely. Okay, you mentioned earlier about coming up to year end and there's a lot of deals out there. Any specific promotions that come to mind? It's a great time of year to buy a machine, Colin. Everyone wants to get their, their numbers in this time of year. So that there's always promotions, but a couple to mention, Nakamura, NTJ from Engineering Technology Group. Uh, Casto have got loads of promotions at the moment on, the, on their sawing range. Fanuc Robo Drill, we've just touched on, and their EDM range offers on both at the moment. Okay. Yeah, self -pull. Got, the, the Fanuc have got two EDM machines in stock, which um, is quite unusual with EDM, mm -hmm. especially the, the, the capability of, the, uh, of, of that type of technology to carry that machine in stock. So Fanuc have two of those machines in stock. Um, I'd probably look at saying you've got a Herco open house coming up. When you've got a Herco open house, there's always what they class as, you know, good deals to be done at the open house on stock machines or um, available machines. And then really with it approaching the end of the year, we've seen various um, offers come onto the site, Doosan X demo deals, uh, you know, Haas machines in stock. Mm -hmm. We're down at XYZ and, and they've got machines in stock and they're looking to push. So this is a very opportune time of year. So if you're looking to buy a machine, Colin, you should, you should really think that uh, now could be the right time. Personally, I'm not looking to buy a machine, but I will keep that in mind. Paul, thank you very much. As you know, I'm new to the industry. I'm learning a lot at the moment about precision machine tools, etc. In fact, I was out last week at one of the shows and one of the things they did show me was a piece of blue tack. Top edge of, edge of technology but it, they use it to remove some lint from, from some of the tooling, which amused me to some, some effect, but that's a bit of a tangent. You guys tell me that you know a lot about engineering, so I'm gonna put you on the spot here. Give me an eng fact, so something about engineering. Joe? Okay, did you know in 2014 alone, 14,289 new apprentices? Okay, yeah. Paul? Well, in, in a lot of the reading that I do, I, I read something really interesting the other day that since 2010, so four years, there's been over 1,300 new precision engineering company startups in the UK, which is, which is a, uh, it's great, really, when you consider that people say manufacturing is, is not as, you know, as good as it was and, and, and people aren't starting businesses. They are. They are starting Absolutely. businesses. Can you believe he reads? That I'd struggle with, absolutely. <laughs> but you never know. So in terms of the engineering industry, absolutely fantastic. What new people coming through, succession. All joking aside, it's really, really buoyant. Lots of investment. We, we touched on RGF earlier on. It, it really is a good time to be in engineering. Excellent. And, and, and the, t the, the shows that we're visiting, there is lots of new technology about at the moment. And technology is the key. You know, you, when we visit machine shops, you'll go in some companies that don't invest in technology. And then you'll go in other companies that do. And when you look at the work that the ones that invest in are doing compared to the ones that don't invest, you know, it just shows you that they're worlds apart. One example, we, we were also in a company called Progressive Tooling on behalf of Open Mind, um, and they supply all their CAD CAM software to Progressive Tooling. Their machine shop was absolutely spick and span. They had some fantastic lineup of uh, DMG Mori 5 axis machines, and that company was going places. 
they're investing, they're making money, and it just shows you that actually manufacturing is very, very much alive going into the end of this year. Well, not this, this has been set up, but that leads me actually and putting you guys under a bit of pressure again, which we like to do. Making investment, I've actually done a bit of s surveying in the background, spoke to, well, roughly 30 engineers. When they're making a new VMC purchase, you tell me what do you reckon the payback time is on average in months? Hmm. In months? Yep. 36. Okay, thank you, Paul. Joe? Yeah, he's not far off, is he? I would say... Come on, I've got to give someone the Idiot of the Month award, so... Okay. Well, I'll go with four years. Okay, well done, Joe. You are idiot of the month. The actual <laughs> payback time is 36 months, oh. which in terms of investment... Well done, you. Three years is absolutely phenomenal. It really is. So key to that is the guys are keeping up to date and making an investment. Yeah. Uh, that, that was a cautionary um, guess by me because I can, I, I can be pretty sure... I bet there is a lot that are paying it off a lot quicker. Absolutely. Put, Paul's touch on technology. That is key. Embrace modern technology, automation, the best work holding, cutting tools, machines, CAD CAM. If you do all that... You, you'll, you know, you'll do well. And embrace the types of media that we're putting out there and that others are, because this is where people will learn about what is available in today's market in order to be able to make more money. Well, of course. Excellent. Guys, Joe, Paul, thank you very much today. Very informative. I hope you guys out there found it interesting. In the up and coming shows, we want to add some real value. So we're going to be speaking to people like accountants, UK export finance, um, renewables specialists in terms of how you can really add value to the engineering industry. So watch this space in terms of that. Thank you for your time. Joe, Paul, thank you for joining me. Will Joe be with us next time? Because you, you're expecting, aren't you? I didn't, oh, congratulations. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm, so fairly soon then. <laughs> it's my wife. <laughs> oh, right. It's an easy mistake to make. I do apologise. <laughs> Joe, good luck with that. Thank you. We hope to see you next time on MTD TV. Thanks, Colin. Thanks, Colin. Thank you very much and goodbye. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.